It's time for story time. 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 Good morning. How are you? Buenos dias. Como estas? Are you ready for the story? Okay, here we go. This story is called Guacamole. Guacamole, guacamole, guacamole. <laughs> it's written by Jorge Aguerta and Margarita Sada. Oh my goodness. What is, what's happening in here? They're inside the guacamole. But that's not that's an avocado. What? Un poema para cocinar, a cooking poem. Hmm, let's see. Oh, you re it is a paperback book. You're too smart. And this is the front, and this is the back, and here is the sp spine, sp spine, spine, spine. And we see the title again. Where'd it go? There it is. Guacamole! Guacamole! There's a picture. I'll pick the one. There's the title page. Looks like they're gonna make some guacamole. Today I'm going to make your guacamole, I say to my mother and father and my little brother and sister. They stare at me with their big eyes that remind me of the green avocados in the basket on the red kitchen table. To make a delicious guacamole that will leave your mother and father and your little brother and sister begging for more, you need four big avocados, like green precious stones and two fresh limes, big shiny ones, round as crystal marbles. You need some cilantro, leaves green as four leaf clover. You need salt, and that's all. Sounds easy enough. First, put on your chef's apron. Mine has balloons on it. With my apron and its balloons and little bird, I feel like a great chef. And I am one as, and I am one as I sing and dance around the kitchen. Guacamole is so easy to make. Then I get my favorite dish. It's decorated with a garland of little red flowers and green leaves shaped like hearts. I feel like dancing, so I dance with my dish, with the lit its little red flowers and heart-shaped green leaves. The avocados are waiting for me. So big and green and beautiful, I squeeze them gently with my hands and can tell that they are soft and ripe, with their shiny, tender skin, like leaves in my garden after the rain. I wash them in the fountain of the sink, and then dancing and singing, I put them on the red kitchen table. There it is. Now it's time to cut the avocados one by one, very slowly, cut them in half. In the center of each avocado, you'll find a small little ball, round as a small world. It's smooth and slippery like a slide. If you grab this pit too hard, it will slip. If you hold it too gently, it will fall. Don't allow, don't throw the pits out. They are the seeds for which avocado trees are born. <gasps> There's a seed in there. Hey, look how tiny they are. Do you think that's how they got them out? Hmm. Take a spoon, not too big and not too small. The spoon is like a tractor that you will use to scrape the avocado flesh. Scoop out all the tender flesh of all four avocados. Put the green avocado flesh in your dish. The empty avocado skin looks like wash bowls. Wash bowls. Blah, 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 blah. Don't throw them out. Set them aside with the pits. Hmm, I wonder what she's going to do with them. Look how they're scooping. Look like she made a bulldozer or tractor. Now, Add salt, not too much. Sing to the salt as you shake it. 
so that little spatters of white drizzle thaw like rain on the green avocado salt salty salt from my salt shaker salt goes in first now with your tractor spoon stir up the green avocado flesh move your spoon up and down the avocado is getting softer it's becoming guacamole take a little branch of cilantro and wash it in the fountain of your sink it looks like a little tree wash it well shake it off and sprinkle water around the kitchen Tear the leaves off your tree one by one and add them to the avocado. Mmm, 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 cilantro. Smells so good. Mmm, such a fresh, such a green smell. I love cilantro. Some people think cilantro tastes like habon, like soap. Oh, can you believe it? Now, take the limes which are also green and perfectly round, take them over to the bathe them in the kitchen fountain. Cut the limes in half carefully, one by one. You are going to squeeze them with your hands over the avocado waiting in the dish. So soft, such a fresh smell, such a greeny green smell. Their sour little lime smell makes my mouth water. Nummy, 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 nummy. The lime peel is soft and juicy juice comes out. Don't get it on your eyes. In your eyes, it stings. The juice that comes like tears from the limes. Ooh, the sour river of lime smells so good as it falls on the greeny green of the avocado. I laugh. I laugh river laughs. I laugh green laughs. I laugh lime laughs. I laugh, guacamole laughs. Little pearls that look like eyes will fall from your hands. They are lime seeds. Pick out the little pearls that fall into the avocado with your fingers. Don't throw them away. Lime trees could grow from them. Don't throw the peels out either. In your hands, they feel like balls whose air has leaked out. Put them with the seeds and the avocado skins. Stir everything together again. Up and down with your tractor spoon. Stir it well. Sprinkle on more salt and stir, stir, stir. Around and around. Sing and dance because food tastes better when you sing and dance. Yummy. What yummy guacamole! Now, everything is green and juicy. In its dish with red flowers and green leaves like hearts. Now, the guacamole is ready. Before you sit down to eat, take all the seeds and skins and peels into the garden. Plant them in Mother Earth so that more guacamole will grow. More lime trees more colors, more flavors. Now the time has come to call your mother and father and your little brother and sister to heat up the beans and tortillas and to sit down and enjoy the guacamole that tastes so fresh. Yummy guacamole, so greeny green as pure as love now i read the book in english this time i'm going to do it again and do my best to do it in spanish all right but for right now we're going to say goodbye and sing our goodbye song and then if you want to come back and hear the same story in spanish it's going to sound a little bit different a lot different but whether you know it in English or Spanish, it's okay because you'll still get a wonderful experience. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. Adios, mis amigos, adios. Adios, mis amigos, adios. 
Hasta luego, hasta mañana, hasta la vista, mis amigos. Adios, mis amigos, adios. We love you. We'll talk to you later. Mwah! Ew! Ciao, Bella.